Hello everybody, MagusX here, the Volatile Gamer, and today I'm going to be covering a few issues that you may have with your launch.bat. And this is for Minecraft servers and or TechIt servers as well. So we're going to go into a TechIt server folder here, and we have the launch.bat right here. We're going to right click and edit. Now what I did here is I actually changed the numbers around a bit so I could so I could show you the error code that it's going to give me. So right now I have too much too much RAM dedicated towards this server. So let's launch it up. Now it says unable to allocate bitmap for parallel garbage collection or requested heap size. It's, it may be a little bit different for you. It may say something like unable to create heap size or anything about the heap size or unable to do this. Um, that's basically what that is is you're telling the server to load more RAM or too much RAM than your computer could actually give it at the current time. Whether or not it's being used by other things at the moment or you just don't have enough. So a few things you could do here to actually change this up. And by the way, we're also going to be covering once again the Java era as well. So a few things you could do to change this up is by switching this part of the code here where it says x uh, dash xmx space dash xmx and numbers in between. So we're going to go ahead and change these numbers here. Now, by the way, if you want to just use gigabytes, and I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger for you guys. So let's go in the font and change that to like 30 or something. 20 should be good. There we go. So just as an example down here, you could rather set it so you're saying it in gigabytes or megabytes. And all you would have to do to do that, see here we put 1G, that's going to be your gigabytes. If you wanted it to be megabytes, so instead you would put, I don't know, a certain amount, you put M instead. And I believe it might have to be capital, capital M and G. So go ahead and try that. Also important that the spaces in between these things here and all the things are, have to be there. So make sure if you get an error that you're checking that as well. Okay, so let's set this to something my computer can actually handle. So dot dash xmx uh, we'll just put 290 actually you know what? I'm gonna pretend like I'm on 32 bit right now so if you're 32 bit you're gonna to want to use less than 2 gigabytes otherwise it just won't be possible because I believe you could only have so much RAM to begin with on a 32 bit operating system and I think that might be 2 or 3 so let's just say if you're having an error let's try this out let's ditch the G's that come we'll ditch the gigabyte market marking and we'll switch it to megabytes instead so you could just kind of play around with these numbers we'll put it to 700 megabytes and add it here too I'm not sure which one is more important but just add both set it the same let's save that control s or just you know file save and let's launch that up and hopefully that get yes that gets rid of the problem so too much too much now as well let's load up the technic launcher there's also an option on here and oh oh it's already running whoops okay that that just means it was already running no error there so if you're running Minecraft. I believe there might be a launcher in in your dot app, like your app data dot Minecraft, and you would do the same thing for that. You're going to edit and set the amount. If it's Technique Launcher, however, you just go in here, click on Options in the bottom right corner, and you're going to Memory to Allocate. You're going to switch that drop down. So you want to play around with these numbers. You want to give it enough but not too much. I would recommend giving it as much as possible. So if you let's say you have two gigabytes, let's try to give this one and see if that's good because you want to give it at least one you know so we're not going to worry about that let's just shut this off here and whatever it will restart the the actual launcher there as you saw so you know play around with the numbers a little bit see try to give it as much as possible without having the error that way you're getting as much power or juice given to what you need to give it to so that way the server runs smoothly and as well so does your game hopefully now that's that so that's all good. I'm just going to keep it like that for now. Now the other error that you may see, and I'm going to recreate it right now, is the Java error. And let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to set this to a drive that Java is actually not in. So let's just do that and see what happens. Java is not recognized as an internal command. So it, basically the code is trying to run a command that it doesn't actually know without giving it the proper path. Once you give it the path, it will then understand the command and will thus work. So let's go fix that up. Now I, I did show this, I believe, in part um, one or two of my uh, Technic installation, but I'll do it again here. So we're just going to go ahead and go into computer, and you're going to go into your C drive. Now, if you're on a 64-bit operating system, it's going to look like me. You're going to have program files, 86, and program files. The one which is program files for a 64-bit operating system, that one here is the 64-bit uh, program files. And the times 86, that is the 32-bit 
uh, areas. So if you have 32-bit Java only installed, go in there. And if you have the 64-bit installed, go in here. Now, if you're on a 32-bit computer, you're not going to see this times 86 at all. So you're just going to go in, once again, if you're a 32-bit operating system, or if you only have like 2 gigabytes of RAM, you probably will be 32-bit operating system. So just go into your program files. Once you're in the proper one, as I just explained to figure out which one that the proper one is, uh, once you're in the right one, go into Java, JRE7, bin, and this is where you got to be. So um, I'm not sure if XP works the same, but you should be able to just click up here on the address bar to get the actual uh, co like path code or path that you want, and just cut it or copy it, doesn't matter. And then you're going to go back over here, open up your launch.bat again, edit that up. That's a right click, by the way, to get to the edit. And uh, we're going to change that. So we're going to change it to what it actually is. So here I inputted the actual path. Now it goes up to bin, so we do have to add a backward slash and a java.exe. And one more thing here, let me open this. One more thing you want to add is quotations to the beginning and front of that. And the reason why that is, is it won't understand the, f the actual path itself because of this space, unless you add quotations. And then it considers the whole path regardless of spaces, just the way the code works, I guess. So that's good. We added the quotations at the beginning and at the front, and uh, that looks good. So let's go ahead and save that. Control S or just File Save, Exit, and let's load it up. Here we go. It's working again. Perfect. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All right. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helps. Once again, if there's any other errors that you're having with the launch.bat, I haven't seen any other ones besides those. But uh, if there is any other, uh, any other errors, uh, let me know. And if for some odd reason you messed up the code and you can't remember what it is, I do have a comment um, that you can copy and paste the code from. It's excluding the uh, dash XMX number, you know, gigabyte thing. But you could add that in just based off this video. So hopefully that helps, guys. Once again, Volatile Gamer, Megas X. Rate, comment, and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, go ahead. You could comment on any of the videos. You could even send um, an email to the, the, the dot volatile dot gamer at gmail dot com uh, if you need any support or if you have any questions as well so uh, have fun with tech guys peace out